In this video, we are going to talk about design systems. Now, the first questions that arise even in our minds is what is actually design system? So think of everything that make up of any product you have, uh, any mobile app or any company, for example, let's say Google. So whatever the layout they use is, colors, icon, typography, uh, tone and voice, uh, what are their styles, different style of uh, designs, then we have coding conventions. So all these actually make up a design system. So keep in mind that design systems are going to be uh, the part of all these things, your tone and style, your grammar, uh, your personality, product personality, that is going to be your style or voice of your product. And then we have typography, colors, uh, different uh, animations, even the micro animations. These are also part of your design systems, how the button is going to be uh, clicked when what is going to happen when you are going to click the button or what is going to uh, what animation is going to play there uh, for how long. So all these are actually the part of your design system. So we are going to study some of the pillars of design system. A lot of you, they, uh, you misunderstood design systems. A lot of us, they think that just the component library or the pattern library or just the style guide is your design system, but it is not. So we are going to look at five pillars of design system. And then we are going to look at different benefits of design systems. What are going to be the inputs, uh, sorry, the outputs of design systems. So let's get started and see what are those things. So first we are going to uh, look at the pillars of design system and those are actually brand guidelines that are going to be your first um, step. So brand guidelines are mostly developed when you are designing the logos or the brand image. Uh, it includes tone and voice, your brand personality. Uh, then we have actually uh, what and what it says is that it is um, your overall presence of your brand or your product. So, for example, if I am a person and I go out in the market, my whole dressing, uh, my tone, my style of speaking, my style of walking, all these are going to be uh, the part of my personality. So these are the things that are going to be defined in your brand guidelines. Uh, then we have style guide. Style guides is going to contain all your typography, your icons, your illustrations. Uh, all these things are actually uh, going to be into the style guide. Mostly these are atomic level design. Uh, you mean that the basic uh, elements of your design, the smallest elements of your design, grids, the grids are also part of it. Then we have visual language. Visual language is actually uh, the whole feel of your product. Okay, so if I use just one word, it is going to be the feel of your product, how your product actually feels like. Then we have CSS library, although it is going to be uh, at the end of your process, but it is a very important part. CSS library or CSS framework basically is uh, uh, the coding style or coding library you are using. So whenever your coders are using a specific library, you have to, as a designer, you have to stick to those rules or you have to adopt those into your own designs. For example, if you look at Bootstrap, all the apps or websites that are built by Bootstrap, they look almost the same. Uh, similarly, we have Foundation. Uh, recently, we have Tailwind CSS. I really love um, that designer. I have purchased some of the courses from that developer. Actually, he's a, a designer plus developer. He was a developer first and the, then he went to design. I have learned design from that, uh, from him too. So uh, then we have Foundation, Bootstrap, Bulma, the CSS and other and many other CSS platforms or you can also call them front end frameworks. So these are actually going to help you lay out your whole uh, interface in HTML and CSS format. Okay, so the last is pattern library. Uh, actually, pattern library is actually the second last, but um, right now, whatever comes to mind, I'm going to tell you. Okay, so the fifth one is pattern library, which is going to be your components. For example, your cards, uh, your uh, repeatable uh, 
uh, for example you have blog post there are paragraphs plus uh, some buttons and some headings so you are going to combine those and create a component library now let's talk about the benefits of design systems a lot of people uh, mostly bigger companies if you are a new designer they are going to resist that we don't need a design system and how you are going to convince them so design systems is actually going to eliminate all the inconsistencies in your uh, interpretations for example I have designed something and that is going to be uh, for example I have designed a button and uh, the button hover state is going to have animation of the drop shadow um, that is my own uh, you can say perception of that design while I was designing now when that design goes to a developer he might think that um, he even don't even notice that mild change in the uh, in the shadow so uh, so these problems are going to gather uh, time to time and within a one year or two years there will be a lot of inconsistencies and this is actually called UI design debt so that debt is going to keep on collecting and design system actually can reduce that design debt and also the interpretation problems my developer might be thinking that it is something else I am I might be thinking that it is something else so these interpretations are going to be reduced then we have a single source of truth for developers and designers developers know that this is the block they are going to use they are going to pull that CSS code block and they are going to use that so most of the design system they also come with coded examples of those components okay this is another thing which a lot of uh, which a lot of designers they don't understand then we have consistency uniformity cohesive design approach in all our different products most of the things like you can see you are using facebook google uh, all other apps bigger companies they are on multiple platforms or even if your app is just a website and a, mo and a, uh, and a mobile app just two product app or two product uh, two facet product or two faces of the same product still you can uh, this um, design system can help you a lot so if you have like two faces you can uh, show the same personality in both the directions of yours so for example if I am a person and I'm um, I am wearing a t-shirt and some pajamas or maybe some uh, sneakers and when I turn uh, the other side I am uh, wearing a tuxedo this is this is really irritating for the users for example your website design button spacing is different and on your mobile app it is different this is going to create a lot of problems so cohesiveness consistency among your different platforms for example a similar app looks same on iOS and almost the same on Android phones so this is basically can be achieved with uh, design systems then we have one more thing is that uh, developers and designers they don't have to fight again and again for small design issues for example I want this uh, orange and the developer says I want this orange this tone of the orange so this is a very small problem once you have designed a design system these problems are not going to come up you have to solve the actual users problems or the bigger problems you have to look at the bigger picture rather than uh, sorting out small changes and small problems so that is all about benefits of design system and let's look at what will be the outputs of the design system a lot of uh, us we don't know what will be the output so the output is actually a clear up-to-date documentation where everything is explained then we have guidelines design guidelines rules styles everything that is easy to understand for the developers and for the designers second is documenting reasoning why we actually chose this design or this animation so this is actually you can easily justify for example uh, after a, after six months your CEO or your manager calls you and says why this animation is happening like this so you can show them that this was the reason behind it the users actually loved it uh, maybe something else then we have tools and processes that help you implement 
the design system on daily basis that is actually for example if you have chosen a figma or you have chosen a specific css framework or a specific uh, you can say naming conventions okay so these are actually uh, different uh, terminologies that can have a very big impact on uh, when you are going to collaborate with your designers and developers similarly we can um, create different processes like for example uh, we uh, we can uh, for example if i want to change the whole theme of my app for example i want an update or my ceo calls me and say that we need to update our design system uh, to a more modern look or maybe something else we can uh, we can implement that in many different ways we can implement that uh, within just one product and see what is the response of the users so there are many processes you can develop to implement that design system and you can tell your developers or the product managers that this is how we are going to implement this design system or this design terminology or something new if you are bringing something new into your design system we are going to have it like this so this is going to be the, our process okay so these are all the things about design system uh, then we have we have learned the design system pillars or main parts of the design system what are the benefits of design system i hope you have enjoyed this lesson till then we are going to learn a lot about design system if we are going to build our first design system in this class and i am going to see you soon in another lesson till then take care bye bye